top prosecutor and sheriff sparred publicly today in a bizarre series of news conferences. County attorney David Levitt called for Sheriff Mike Smith to resign if, as he suspects, an investigation Smith announced this week is politically motivated. KSL investigator Daniela Rivera joins us now to explain. Danny? Well, the Utah County Sheriff's Office announced yesterday they're investigating claims of ritualistic child sexual abuse from decades ago, and they called for victims and witnesses to come forward. They did not release any names or point to specific cases, but today the county attorney did. David Levitt shared in a news conference that he is named in a victim statement from a 10 year old case. That the Sheriff's Office is using its position for political gain. Claims outlined in a 151 page victim statement from a 2012 case against a therapist named Utah County Attorney David Levitt and several others. Alleging that we were guilty of cannibalizing young children and murdering young children. The case was dropped. Levitt says he never knew about the statement naming him until a reporter gave him the document yesterday. The same day, the sheriff's office made a vague announcement calling for victims of ritualistic sexual child abuse between 1990 and 2010 to come forward. Now, Levitt calls that effort a political attack. Why is it occurring seven days before the ballots drop in my election? Levitt now calling for an investigation into the sheriff's office, accusing law enforcement of leaking the victim's statement. And if there is such a link, then I call upon him to resign. And taking aim at the woman who named him years ago, over and over repeating this claim about her mental health. By that tragically mentally ill woman. How dare you? These are victims of crime who have mustered the courage to come forward and this is what we call them as mentally ill. Utah County Sheriff Mike Smith holding his own news conference a couple hours later. He released a lot of information. He did. That we never would have released. He notes Levitt is the one who publicly attached himself to their investigation. And they intend to continue forward along with several other agencies involved, including the FBI. But they are not naming who we they consider to be to suspects. Again. again, we won't be intimidated by Mr. Levitt, by his attempts to uh, derail our investigation. We will continue to do our jobs. Levitt insists the fact that the old case was dropped signals the claims were baseless, but admits he has not reviewed it himself. This case was dismissed almost 10 years before I took office. And you have access to the case file then, I, correct? I, I, I can find it. Yeah, it's in the archive someplace. Have you not looked at it? No, it's going to take several days. Meanwhile, the sheriff says their investigation is based on more than one person's um, word. There are multiple victims involved in this case, and there are multiple victims corroborating information between their accounts. The sheriff says his agency did not release any documents related to the investigation, but the KSL investigators did obtain a copy of the victim statement, and we did so through a public records request to the Provo Police Department. Dan and Dini? A lot to still sort out on this one, Daniela. Thank you.